Hi again. I told you that I was going to make this video like directly after I made my integration video, but um, it's Kristen and we're back with another episode of Did You Know? And today we're going to talk about fragments and fragment altars and their relationship with integration and their relationship with recycling, or at least what we call recycling. There's There might be another term for it, but that's just what we call it. Um, fragment altars are altars that are not fully developed. Uh, I think, I think it was Hannah who um, touched on this in a, uh, like a con combined video with a pink camo system because we were, we were talking about polyfragmented systems and their prevalence of fragments, whereas most non-polyfragmented systems don't have a lot of fragments. So fragments are not fully developed alters. Now that doesn't mean they don't have uh, like, you know, names and, and personalities. Sometimes they do have names and personalities, but they are not as distinct as say an altar that prevalent prevalently fronts so like me i am definitely not the same as jamie who whose defining <laughs> whose defining personality trait is bratty 13 year old we we don't i don't know his like personal likes and dislikes i don't even know if he has personal likes and dislikes because he doesn't front enough and i don't really have co-consciousness with him but the point of it is fragment alters tend to not have as defined personalities as more like alters that normally front more often that does not mean that a fragment alter can gain that. Um, alters that don't front as often can start fronting more often and through their experiences gain more traits, tra gain more personality traits. But that's that's literally how the brain develops. Your experiences and how you react to those experiences and what you learn from those experiences is what creates your personality. So if an altar that doesn't have very much of a personality starts fronting more and more often, they gain more and more of a personality distinct to them, as opposed to somebody who's been fronting for quite a, quite a while for some reason. Um, I have a distinct personality that's different from as, so to say. And uh, alt, uh, fragment altars can also integrate into other fragment altars and combine their their personality traits and their, their likes and interests and all that sort of stuff to create a, a more developed succinct altar that is entirely or not entirely separate from one of the two altars that integrated together. Um, that's basically what that is. I mean, that's what integration is, is just two alters going together and, you know, becoming one or more of one than the other. And that's all right. Um, fragment alters can also integrate together and then be recycled. Or they could just be recycled separately. Or a regular altar who's not a fragment, who fronts pretty, pretty often, or has fronted often enough to have a distinct personality can also get recycled. Now, <sighs> recycling, I don't know if anybody else uses this term. We use this term because it just makes the most sense to us, but recycling is when an altar is integrated and they're gone for a good while, but then they come back and they don't have, they, they may not have the same um, name or physical appearance, but a lot of times they have the same personality traits or maybe they have the same role now this is not always the case sometimes an altar that's recycled can come 
right back out and be entirely different. Or maybe the, that's just them being integrated in an entirely new altar being created. It really just, it's, it's, a, it's a gray area for us. <laughs> you don't really know, but we know that sometimes an altar can go through a meat grinder and come out similar, but not the same. And we just call that being recycled. Um, that happens sometimes after a shutdown. Sometimes it happens just, you know, in the back of the brain when nobody's really paying attention. It just happens. And uh, that's also okay. I'm sorry, these are really terrible uh, descriptions of what goes on inside our brain. But my feet are really cold and I don't want to situate myself back like while the camera's rolling so that I can heat them up with my body fat. So instead, I will let this little six minute video go and then maybe we'll do another one. I've got like a whole list. I, I came prepared. I'm just lazy and I keep forgetting to do these videos until way late at night way the late at night <laughs> and uh yeah <laughs> so okay see you guys later bye <laughs>